Hello, everybody. It's me, Heather. And as you can already see by the title of the video, I'm going to talk about the new Marc Jacobs. Oops, I should just grab it so you can see it. Marc Jacobs Lamarck Liquid Lip Cream. So this was sent to me for reviewing purposes by Influencer. So if you're not familiar with Influencer, they are an online review community. So you can go to their website. I'll have a link down below so you can go check them out. And if you're really active on the community and you have a lot of social influence online, sometimes they'll send you what they call a Vox box. So this is the Marc Jacobs Beauty Vox box. So really generous. They sent me two full-size products, actually. They sent me the Marc Jacobs Le Marc, uh Liquid Lip Creme, as well as actually uh, one of the other permanent items from the Marc Jacobs Beauty makeup line, which is, this is the Pout Liner which is the Longwear Lip Pencil. So let me show you the shades they sent me. So here's what the actual product looks like. Marc Jacobs. This is the Lamarck Liquid Lip Cream. And this shade is called Truth or Bear. And I will try on both the lip liner. I'll do swatches as well as obviously the other lip product. This is the pout liner they sent me. This is in the shade Prim Rose. What's nice about this is it does dial up like that. So let's go ahead and just put that on there. So it's a nice nude shade that'll work on, I think it's almost, almost universally flattering. And I have to admit, so let's talk a little bit more about the main hero of the items that they sent me is actually the Lamarck Liquid Lip Cream or Creme, if you want to try to do the French thing. So and I'll even show you the literature they were kind enough to send me. I just want you to focus on this part. Sorry, I know that's blinding you right there. But I'll let you see that right there. There's currently six shades. And as you can see, they're all in a very nude, neutral uh, color range. I have to admit, although these are all very pretty and they're almost honestly universally flattering shades, I think they'll work on almost any skin tone. I find the actual range. There we go. Maybe if I do that find the actual range of colors to be too much in the same family, if you know what I mean. I just, I find I would like a little bit more diversity, even though there's only six shades. Okay, the actual product itself, let me go ahead and try it on, put it on for you guys, and then we'll go into the actual review, because I did actually wear this and test it out. So I'll start with the pout liner in Primrose. What's nice about this is you can just dial it up. You don't have to sharpen it. It retails for $24. And let's just put this on. Now, I have to admit, I think I'm a bit spoiled by not so nice brands or cheaper brands, I have to admit, because this is so creamy and soft that I have trouble making a nice line because it's so soft and I'm used to having to push so hard to get the pigmentation to draw a line that when I push hard, I actually like, <laughs> like it's just so smooth and soft. So you can use a very light hand with this. It's got really nice pigmentation. It's got a very soft texture, really velvety. And it's just really easy to glide on. And I'm honestly so used to so many lip liners that I didn't realize the difference until I tried this one. That so many lip liners, I'm really like having to push really hard and really get that color. Where with this, it's like right when I got to my top lip, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> but as you can see, um, very universally flattering shade, at least on me. And I think it will be on most skin tones, as I've said several times on this. So they did actually do a good job of that. Like, I think any shade you pick in this collection is going to be a winner for you. But let's move on to the actual Lamarck Lip Cream. And again, this is in the shade Truth or Bear. And it's just got your standard slanted doe foot applicator. And let me apply that for you. Let's talk about the formula. Now, I have to admit, when I first got this, and I didn't read up too much on it, just kind of tried it out, played with it, and then read up on it. Oh, let me give you guys a swatch. I know you're waiting for that. Sorry about that. Okay. 
So the formula. Now we're so used to right now the current industry standard is if something is a liquid lipstick or liquid lip that it's going to dry matte or ridiculously matte and not budge. Now this doesn't go by that. Yes, it is a liquid form, but it does not dry down to a matte. This is a satin formula, which is quite nice because it's not super shiny, but it's not obviously ultra matte. It's right in between and it feels ridiculously comfortable, a little too comfortable. It's really feather light. So when I was first trying this out the first day that I got it, and I'm not gonna lie, the moment this arrived, I was like, ah! you know, I gotta try this right away. So the first day I tried, I was honestly a little annoyed because it was so feather light that like I kept going, like every once in a while I would be like, Oh, is this already gone? Did this already wear off? Because you cannot feel it on your lips, or at least I can't feel it on my lips. So I'd look in the mirror and I'd be like, oh, no, it's still on. So it wasn't until I, after I ate dinner that I did have to reapply. So this is supposed to wear up to eight hours, and that sounds about right. It did last quite a long time until I ate dinner, and after dinner is when I had to reapply. This does transfer, so whenever I was drinking tea, drinking from a glass, it did leave product on the glass. And like I said, I had to reapply after eating. So, But other than that, it is rather long wear. Over time, it did lose a little bit of the shine that you see now, and it did become even more of a satin finish. It has like a very velvety texture. as you Like the longer you wear it throughout the day, it gets a little bit more velvety, but really lightweight. Um, Honestly, for me, I like this shade, but at the same time, for me, one is enough. Simply because I feel like all the shades in this range, and I'm saying this without having seen the others and swatched the others, but I'm just going off of what I've seen of it. It retails for $28, so not the cheapest product, but it is very different from anything else I have in my collection. Anything else is either super glossy or super matte. It's very rare that you find stuff in between. And also the pigmentation is very nice, as you can see. It's like, it was one swipe opacity. And I'm a woman of color, and it's, you know, a common problem for us with lip products is finding really opaque lip products because a lot of times as women of color, our upper lip is oftentimes darker than our lower lip. And so we need to have that really solid, opaque pigmentation on lip products so that our lips actually match up when we wear the lip color. That way it's not like this lip color's, you know, not even showing up on this lip and on this lip it's fully, you know, showing up. So as you can see, I don't have that problem with this. Mm, what else can I tell you? So again, I feel like all the shades are like really in a similar vein. So I kind of feel like one's enough if you get it from this. And again, it is called Lamarck um, Liquid Lipstick and the ingredients are really interesting on this. It actually has um, Brazilian cupuasu, cupuasu, excuse me, cupuasu butter, which is that, it's a Brazilian fruit that's really moisturizing. So it has that in here, and it also has collagen. And I feel like when you put this on, your lips in instantly look plumped. But there's no tingling, there's no irritation. And again, like I said, this is really lightweight. Like at times it feels like I don't even have anything on at all. So I would think it was already gone. And then I'd look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, no, still there. But yeah, that's it. If you're interested in the um, pout liner, the, the lip liner, or this, this retails for 24 This re retails for 28 You can get both at Sephora. You're also able to order both of these off of the Marc Jacobs Beauty.com website as well. And I think that's it. So yeah, that's all I got to say. All right, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have tried these, if you've tried, seen the other shades, do you think it's worth getting more than one of these? Simply because, like I said, I feel like the shade range is kind of really similar to each other, just that really nude neutral look. But I think it's also kind of a case of there's one perfect neutral in this collection for everybody. So this one's obviously more on the pink side. I would prefer actually something a little with a more warmer undertone. But no, this is really cool. I'm happy to have it. This is universally flattering. I do like it. And if you wanted to check it out and you want to splurge on something nice, this is definitely worth picking one of them up. But I would say only one. I wouldn't get more than one shade of these. But that's me.
depends on your preference. Then again, I'm the woman who says you can never have too many shades of red lipstick, so what do I know? Okay, so go ahead and check out my link down below to check out Influencer and join the community, review stuff. Maybe you can earn yourself a Vox box and try out some new products that you've been curious about. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Heather and King. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. That way, next time I upload a video, I'll pop up in your subscription feed. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I will get back to you. I love it when you guys interact with me, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.